everyone and welcome to my booktube channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm wearing something other than the color black. Are you surprised? I'm kind of surprised at myself right now. I'm actually going to be doing my birthday book slash bookish item haul. For those of you who didn't know, I had a birthday recently on August 11th and I have lots of wonderful family and friends that bought me things and so now I'm going to be showing them all to you. The first book that I got for myself actually for super super cheap was Bersinger by Christopher Paolini. It's actually kind of ripped there, which I think is why it was so cheap, but I don't really care because I love this series. And it's a deluxe edition, so... That book is the third book in the Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. I read those books ages ago and I really, really love them, and so slowly but surely I'm trying to purchase them. The next book that I got was 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. You guys probably already know because I talked about it in last month's wrap-up and I did a spoiler-free review. If you want to see those, I will link them down below. Basically, this book is about a boy named Clay who has received lots of mixtapes in the mail from a girl he knew that committed suicide. The tapes are her telling her side of the story and all of the things that led to her committing suicide. It's a very touching, hard-hitting story and I really, really loved it. The next book that I got was OCD The Dude and Me by Lauren Rohde Vaughn, I believe. This book is told in an interesting format of essays and diary entries, and it's about this girl with OCD and her journey through high school. The next book I'm actually super, super excited about, and that is Breathless by Anne Sward something. I'm really not sure about her last name, but this is a beautiful cover and that is mostly why it drew me in. But it is also, it's supposed to be a modern Swedish fairy tale about a powerful friendship and a small village that burns down and I'm just, I'm so excited for it. The next book is one that my sister got me actually and that is Affliction by Laurel K. Hamilton. I think that she picked it up for me mostly because of Hamilton, which I, I approve of. This is the first in what appears to be a series about vampire hunters. I'm not sure much about it besides that, but it has a very shiny blue cover and I'm looking forward to diving into it. The next book that I got I'm also very excited about and that is The Burning Air by Erin Kelly. This is a mystery slash thriller following a family that is very rich and a stranger that comes into their midst and stirs up secrets from the past. I am so excited about this. It's pretty short and I think that it will be an enthralling read. The next book that I received for my birthday was The Star Touched Queen. I'm not even going to attempt to say that last name because I know that I will butcher it. But this is a beautiful cover. It is a beautiful book. It's basically a retelling of Hades and Persephone, but with Indian culture and myth and folklore, and it's so fantastic. It's a plus. Another thing that I got was a bookmark, and it says, my workout is reading in bed until my arms hurt. So cute and accurate. <laughs> and then the last bookish item that I got was this bookish mug, and it says bookworm, and it has like this old beaten up book and it's black and white and it's really cute and I've actually used it a bunch because what would my life be without coffee every night? <laughs> and then the last and final book that I was given was The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I am so excited about this because I know I am five million years late on this train but this book has been getting tons of hype on booktube and the sequel recently came out. This author is so sweet and I'm beyond excited to finally read this book. For those of you who don't know, it is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights, which I have not actually read, but I am so excited to be immersed into this world. So those are all the books that I got for my birthday. I'm so excited about them and they're so pretty and... Thank you to everyone who got me something, and thank you to all of the lovely people on Twitter who wished me happy birthday. It meant the world to me, and I had a fabulous day. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos twice a week. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or any of my social medias, I will leave the links to those in the description box below, as always. But most of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!